Okay, since we don't have any sound on this drone video, I'll do a little bit of commentary. I'm uh, using the follow mode on the Autel X-Star Premium Drone again. I set it up about, uh, I think it was 90 some feet altitude and uh, pretty much looking straight down. I find it follows me a little better when it's looking straight down as opposed to uh, sideways or in front of me. Anyway, here I am passing through some of the tree hedge around the yard. That's uh, old growth maples, some American elm. The maples have pretty well lost their leaves. That yellow one there is an American elm, I think. Got some evergreens in there at the top of the screen. I'm just about out of sight underneath the maple branches. Moving slowly along here, there's a row of bales there, completely invisible from above. Um, coming to the trail, heading eastbound now. I was taking it fairly slow. I was trying to watch the tablet screen so I could tell what was happening with the drone, see if I was still in the picture or whether I was overdriving it. It's a little bit off-center here. Moving through the yard, eastbound, nothing too exciting for scenery there. More poplar trees down below, yellow leaves. Coming up to some nice ones here. Going to make a sharp turn here and head down the lane between the evergreen trees and the poplars. Probably a few Saskatoons in there as well. They're very yellow at this stage. This is October 1st, I don't think I mentioned. Some of the hay bales, old flax bale straw stack there. Case Disker parked over on the right side. The drone is kind of um, circling back and forth, I guess, trying to keep me in the picture and not sure which way to turn. Some really nice colors on these leaves here, more poplar trees. Now we're getting out of the trees, approaching. A summer fellow field. That was chem fellow, sprayed twice through the summer and cultivated back here about oh, September, early September, I think. Very little weed growth on it now. It's been so dry, the weeds don't grow. Taking it fairly slow here because I had the uh, drone controller and tablet, of course clamped onto the front luggage rack on the trike and it tended to bounce a little bit on rough ground. I didn't want it to fall off underneath the tires so I kind of took it easy. Kept the speed down to a moderate level. Passing by one of the big sloughs, we always call this one the ravine. It's uh, gone down considerably from where it was the last, say, seven years, I guess. You can see the water line, and there's some exposed shoreline between that and the bulrushes. Uh, up till this spring, that water was right out into the bulrushes. You wouldn't see any shoreline at all. I'm traveling along here on the grassy edge, looking for... Uh, possible opening to drive through and I was hoping to maybe drive a little on the shoreline but as you'll see coming up I wasn't able to do much of that. Most of that shoreline although it looks dry is actually quite wet underneath. I think at that point there I had stopped to look up and actually see where the drone was and at 90 some feet it was plainly visible, but I had to stop to see it. That colored strip of vegetation there is all pretty well all bulrushes and slough hay. 
Some of them stand really tall. I can drive through them on the trike, but then again, with the controller for the drone strapped onto the front rack, I didn't want to push it too hard and maybe uh, cause it to fall off under the tires. I think coming up here shortly, I found what looked like a passable opening, or at least something I could drive through, so there I am driving through slowly. Pulling into the white surface mud there that looks dry but is actually greasy muck underneath. I never got stuck here today, but I decided there was no future in that, so I did a little more trailblazing, get back onto the uh, Summerfellow field and continue along the edge. And Decided to get onto the gravel road and have a little smoother driving. Slowing right down here to cross the ditch. It's a little rough there. Now I can move along pretty fast. Not sure what the speed was. Probably 30 some kilometers per hour. Apparently I was overdriving the drone. As you see, I'm uh, literally, I've driven off screen here. Finally caught up to myself. More water killed trees there in the slough. And in a few seconds here, I'm going to come to a stop and bring this drone down to the ground. You can see I was down to, uh, oh, I forget, 50% or less battery power, so I wanted to get the landing done.